Hey DIY family and welcome back to our channel Hacks by A Banks. I'm Sasha and today I'm going to bring you the last kitchen update until we show you the big reveal. about how we completed our kitchen island so if you didn't see the video before of how we did our kitchen island then I'll leave it here for you guys to go ahead and check out we also have live updates on various projects that we're working on and we usually share those on Instagram so you can go ahead and follow us there as well so let's jump right in guys this is our island coming from another angle this is our kitchen island this is our diy island we still have to do something about this to cover this up and to put some design at the back we're gonna think it necessary but i mean as you walk in you sit under there to me so we'll find a way to do a nice diy design for under there these are actually our dining table chairs we have a counter height dining table so we're using the chairs here so actually need to get some counter chairs <music> I managed to convince Rory to do a design on the back of the island by convincing him that we didn't have to spend any money to get the design done. We ended up reusing some material left over from the ceiling and other projects to do this build out. We decided to use a large piece of drywall that was left over from the ceiling. So right here Rory is attaching all the studs that we need to secure the drywall onto the back of the island. I then trimmed up the edges of the drywall to ensure that we had a perfect fit before we mounted it. The drywall was not long enough to go all the way to the floor and so we decided that we would have to put on a baseboard anyway so we would leave a gap at the bottom. Once the drywall was securely installed, I cut out the hole to replace the plug that we have in the bottom of the island. I then filled in the hole with joint compound and wet sanded the area. I did this about three times to ensure that we had a smooth surface to paint. We added two coats of paint to the back of the island before adding any finishing touches to it. This was our base and priming technique. Instead of using a primer, we just used the same paint that we intended to use in the end. This is the same color that we have on our kitchen cabinets. Um, it's Agreeable Grey from Sherwin-Williams. So first of all, we built this entire design from excess material that we had. We used a piece of drywall that we had to do the foundation or the initial build out um, with leftover material from the ceiling. Uh, the baseboard that you see here is upcycled from a shelf. Um, and you know we love to upcycle things if you haven't checked out our video see how we also use some of that shell to make a table and these panels we actually bought them to make a baby gate but when we felt them they felt a little bit too thin and we we're afraid that he would be able to maybe break it and so we're using it here instead on the back of the island uh, so so far you know I had to make all of these angle cuts to get this thing up um, and what we did was we used, we used an adhesive or a liquid nail 
to put it onto the island i did a first coat of paint in the joints and realized that there were some gaps so i had to go back over and put caulking in all of the gaps that i could see so now i'm just going to paint it finish painting it and see how it turns out and i'll be painting on the hair as well just to make the space look complete um so yeah let's get it whoa whoa whoa! i think we skipped a few steps let's go back a few steps and see how we got here so we started by cutting down all of the wood for the baseboard to the size that we wanted we didn't have a piece that was long enough to cover the entire length of the island and so we used two pieces and joined them in the middle we then sanded just to get off some of the sheen because we intend to paint this and not keep the stain on it so this sanding is really just to cut down the sheen and to ensure that when we paint the paint would hold to the board so i'm not trying to get all the color off The next thing we did was to prime it with some white paint that we had. I think this is a ceiling paint, the paint that we intended to use in the kitchen ceiling. <laughs> but I just used it to prime the piece of both pieces of boards that um, are going to be the baseboard and also some of the board that would use to trim the sides as well. For this next step, we are attaching the baseboard to our island um, and Rory pre-drilled the holes using his countersink drill bits to ensure that we could have the screws as flush as possible. After filling the holes in the baseboard, I went ahead and added the trims to the side. Now these are toe kicks that we bought um, in the same color as our cabinets to just attach to the side of the cabinet to ensure that everything was seamless on that side. And we did the same thing to the other side of the, of the island as well. We used liquid nails to attach the strips. Um, instead of nails and at the time we didn't have a nail gun but that that could have been used as well so guys right here I started with a piece of tape down the center of the island and I intended to tape out the entire design but then I realized that the strips that I had the panels that I had were too short and so I had to just go ahead and freestyle it again I'm using the liquid nails to attach all the panels to the back of the island in a let's call it a freestyle design right as i went along i just added the various pieces i did use a small t-square to help me to get the angles as straight as possible even though some of them were a little bit lean but that's my design and i love how it came out anyway Alright guys, so this is where I left you. Um, so now I'm just finishing up the painting and putting the final touches on the back of the island. 
I really love how this design turned out and I feel like I need to do something like this on a wall somewhere. Um, as soon as I figure it out, you'll, you'll be the first to know. And this is how it turned out. I really love it. I love the design and I'm glad that we did it. I'm glad that I was able to convince Rory to do it. Yay! So I want to think, on the light island, <laughs> I love it and I can't wait to reveal the kitchen to you guys in our next video. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share and leave a comment below to let us know what you think. Bye guys, see you next time.